All right, Saturday, January 6, 2024. There's Kitty actively scratching at the post. Making YouTube news, Kitty. So after time, he shreds these little, I guess they're cardboard, I don't know what they're made out of. And they add up over time. And then you have to sweep them up. It's good for his claws, right, Kitty? It's good, it's good for you, isn't it? It's better than the furniture, right? I won't talk about the furniture. Oh, there's Linda. Oh, Linda wants to be in the show. Hi. How's your vlog doing, Linda? Great, thank you. Okay, cool. Now this one right here is a two-level cat condo for Kitty, which he doesn't really take advantage of that much. And then he does like the well shark tunnel, which at times he will get involved in that. Right, Kitty? Yeah. Yay. All right, we're going to Kohl's. I've got to secure my non-slip resistant, well, rotter resistant non-slip shoes by New Balance. These are just ones I'm wearing for today. They're, they're uh, I don't really wear them out. They're fancy shoes given to me by a friend, but I'm just we wearing We have to go today. back and wash that. You called him a she at the beginning. Who? You said she. You said she when I was sitting on the couch. You said she. You have to go back and watch it. I said friend. No, you said she. You called the cat a she. Come on, let's go in the car. Oh, it's a he. By the way, it's a he. Didn't you say well, she? Well, cats are feminine. Yeah, I it, It's a he. You're a he. I could have sworn it's a he said cat. she could have been me. I'm half asleep. Well, if I said it, you know. All right. Oops, wrong one. There we go. 51 degrees Fahrenheit. We're at 205,830 miles on the odometer. It is January 6th. There's some private information on my phone right now. Let's see if I can erase that. Wow, I'm going to have to do it right now. There she is. Hey, Linda. right when I read 5100, you read 5100. 5100, what's that called? The street address I'm going to. Oh, okay, don't say that out loud. <laughs> All right, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, anyway, we are headed out to go to Coles eventually to pick up a pair of, they're called men's training shoes. That's what they call them. They're um, water resistant and they're non-slip at the bottom. So they're, they're made for work, walking on wet surfaces, things like that. So, so we have more of a fair game. I've been wearing running shoes with little holes in them. All right, and then Linda's gotta go to a, an interview. There she is right there. Stream close up. So close, Sorry about that. And then we're just gonna do like one of those shots where you can see us driving. Right here, I'll put the camera right here. <sighs> Did you get your water? a 24 hour fitness and it's leveled that is amazing like, it didn't make it through covid they all be, like they would shut down at 11 p.m so they lost their 24 hour fitness you know status well some of them did
Oh, they got a Sephora here too. did hold them. They are the same ones. And they're the size 10. So, we'll go ahead and try them on. Mm-hmm. Just now, I know I realized. Well, this one says wide. They're pretty much the same. The only difference is the color, but I might be okay with that since I'm only using them for work, and they are New Balance. So we're gonna see. I may have to go with this color for now. I can always. For some reason, these are just kind of slipping. I don't know why, but they are wide, so I don't know. If these are the trainer ones in a nine. If this was only a ten, they'd be in business. For some reason, hey. No, it's also a nine. If this was a ten, they'd be in business too. Right here. Well, they have mash right there. I don't know if it's non slip, but I flippin' found them. They're whites, they're blacks, and they're non slips. I just did not see it. I haven't really studied them. Before. These are the ones right here. It's gonna be these right here. These are the size. But they're both a left shoe, if I'm not mistaken. So, they're wide, but they have to have them left and right. All right, these are actually not two lefts. This is only one wide to the right. I don't know why this was misplaced, but they have a misplaced shoe. So, they only have one wide right one. That's 10. So we can see how to do these. This one is probably a misplaced shoe. All right, so she tried to help me find the other shoe she couldn't help. But she looked at other stores and we can't order anything. So you have to buy it through the app, have it ordered to, to the store. So I'm stuck with these for now. We, well, we stopped in the Jason's Deli and got two ribbon sandwiches. The problem is, is that I'm only gonna go with the wides and they only have one wide. I think it was a left wide and then they had a 12 in there. The lady found out. An older lady, she got frustrated with me, but um, 
they can't order anything at Kohl's. So you have to order it from the app and buy it and have it sent to the store. So even though they have a malfunction in their shoes, they have one 10 wide and then a 12 stuck in there, a 12 medium, they can't fix the problem and have it ordered to the store. So you have to purchase a product and have it ordered there. And then they just have their own ordering thing. Anyway. It brings some like history to the Jason Stelly franchise. I don't know what this really is. It has to do with customs and passengers. I don't know if Jason Stelly's that old. It may be though. Here's a like a 1970s shot of it right here. Yeah, it's like 1950. It's called New Turf Cafe. She's got hers. This episode is actually brought to you, at, well, it's actually an honoring Christopher Guest in, uh, for your consideration. But to Jason's Jelly, um, Reuben sandwich. I eat one on the set of them um, for your consideration. Pretty good movie. Well, that was frustrating. All right, now I'm kind of in a situation I can explain exactly what happened. All right, so I get to Coles in the Lake Worth yesterday, and they didn't have a size 10, but I think the size I was actually looking for was 10W, which is 10 wide, and we're looking at like a black, um, I think they call it noir. Uh, it's a, so it's a men's training shoe, and it's non-slip, so, they have good soles, and th these are the ones that I would want. But didn't I didn't get it? So I asked the Lake Worth one. They said, "Well, we have four of them at the Hewlin one." Only I think the, the word W, which is wide, was left out of it. So that's what I needed. I didn't really know it until I got there. So I'm showing up at Coles, thinking, oh, "Okay, they're holding them for me." And the first thing I do is I well, I go to the customer service, and yeah, they're holding it under my name, Cole S. Is what I put it under, and uh, and then I, I go and I sit down and I put them on. And I immediately know they're gripping, and I'm thinking, oh, these are mediums. And I remember right then it dawns on me as I put them on the W, you know, for wide. As I'm putting them on, I'm like, oh, okay. So you got to remember that when you're ordering, if you're a wide, or you'll be stuck in those tight, cramp shoes. Linda's friend lent me a pair that are wide because he doesn't use them, and I already had holes in the soles in the other one. So I'm basically wearing her friend's shoes right now, which are wide. So at least they won't blister. Um, so anyway, I'm going to wait on them. So they're Black Noir. They can't order them, though, at Kohl's. Not the store. Or they won't. If your Kohl's orders them, then let me know about it. Because they said they don't do it. And I said, well, you know, this is kind of like a problem because you're missing a shoe. Oh yeah, I forgot about to talk about that. Okay, so I finally find a box there, you know, because I'm, I'm putting on the normal size shoes, you know, that they have, which is the regulars, whatever, uh, tins, black noir, uh, men's training shoes. And they're just, you know, a normal pair, but they're gripping too tight because the regulars are not white. So I'm like, okay, so I held the wrong pair. Let's go see if we can find a W, a 10W. And so I go and I'm looking at the entire collection of shoes and then I finally look to the right where there's nothing but pairs of whites and then there's a 10 and then there's black and it's noir and I'm like this is it and I grab it and I'm like I open it up and I go over there and I'm kind of happy I'm like finally you know and I'm going through all this stuff mentally thinking like why can't I find the right shoe and I'm going through I'm thinking of relatives that have, have wronged me in the past and you know you you know what you do and when, when you can't find exactly what you're looking for at least I do and so I'm, I'm thinking okay and I finally find it, and it's 10W, and I'm like, 
this is the right shoe. And I open it up and it looks weird. It looked like two left shoes. But th someone had thrown a 12 in the 10. So there was a, a pair of 12 and then a 10. Like a 10W and then a 12 in the same box. And the manager, finally I got the manager over there and this old lady was there. I was giving her a hard time. I feel bad, sorry about that. You did a good job, everybody did a good job. But I was like, oh my gosh. So I was going through all these, you know, these boxes trying to find where, you know, the other 10W would be, like maybe in a 12, because the 12 is in there, thinking that they maybe had taken the 10W and put it in a 12 box since the 12 was already in the 10W. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta find this, right? And then I, I realized, um, you know, that we probably weren't gonna find the other 10W, which I think was the right pair. So I thought in my mind, well, maybe I'll just try to squeeze into the normals like no, nah, I don't end up probably giving you blisters. I just get too tight. So um, the answer to the situation probably would be that I would buy it on the app and have it ordered to the store, which is what I'm probably going to have to do. Or I can have it ordered to my doorstep, I guess. But the problem with that is Coles has been sending me a bunch of um, emails saying that they don't have the right address or something. Like several of them. I don't know if they do the same with you, but I'm like, okay, dear. So I'll have to like go up there and talk to them and have them show me how to order it to the store where I do a pickup. And that's probably what I'll go with because the, the 10 W's seem like they were working. But anyway, you know, it, it looked like a real weird situation because, you know, when I'm opening, I'm like, there's the 10 W, there's the 12. Does that look, and it looked kind of like a left foot, like two left feet. I think it was two left shoes that they put in there. Well, anyway, the guy, the manager, one last thing, he said that people do it all the time. And I don't know if that, that's true, but it's like, yeah, people do that all the time. It's no big deal. But I was like, well, this is your fault. Why can't you order it? Because you're not showing that you have the same product and everything. You know, it's like, well, we can't do it. You still, that's they, what they, the reason why they do that. And I'll just, I'll just tell you a secret on sales is they're upselling the app to make money off the app to have you order it because it costs them a lot of money to have them order special products in the store, especially if people don't pick it up later. So they save tons of money having you order it and buy it on the app and then it's shipped to you. It's probably what I'll do rather than have it mailed to my door. Starting a little earlier than usual and then wearing new shoes. And there is the Modern Art Museum, the back side of it with the beautiful Christmas lights. Isn't that great? Oh, I did some research. Louis Kahn was the guy for the Kimball Art Museum. Louis Kahn is Estonia. So that's not exactly what I said last time, but that's who he was, Louis Kahn. He, he started the Kimball. And the piano pavilion was done by an Italian architect. Also, I found some information about the modern art. Tadeo Ando. He's Japanese, self-didactic. That means he taught himself how to be an architect. He also has other great works of art too that's very similar to the modern art museum but they're in japan um mostly structures very similar to the modern art but he does spiral staircases that are concrete that are thought out and methodical the way that they're designed i'll have to find out more information now here is something common with all three museums i believe their award is known as the pritzker award it's an architect award the highest honor for an architect all three architects earned that award. Um, and then they were also asked to um, to build in Fort Worth, you know, to design those three structures. First delivery is 533, eight minutes, 3.3 miles. Tadeo uh, Andu, who designed the Modern Art Museum off of Darnell Street, he won the Pritzker Prize for Architecture in 1995. Also, uh, just to let you know, Tadeo Ando was born on September 13th, 1941. So he is um, older than I am. And uh, he came in there. And that's when we got the note. He said, well, gotta go. Darnell Apartments being torn down. We're gonna put up a, a new structure. They didn't tell us the type of structure either. We found out later it'd be the Modern Art Museum. So I appreciate that, Tadeo, if you're hearing this. But um, it's a nice structure, you know. Now, my old apartment complex houses Jackson Pollock's 
at the time I, I put up posters of Frank Stella in there, so I'm okay with it. But we were all upset that we had to leave. But of course I'm okay with it in the long run. It's a nice apartment complex. They had wood floors, you could crawl underneath them. But nevertheless, it was right next to the Kimball. But that's, it's cool that we have Modern Art Museum. But I, I plan to take advantage of those loose dogs on that way. I know, never mind, they got into a, they got into a vehicle. No, uh, false alert on loose dogs. Um, but I, I will take advantage of uh, the Modern Art Museum. I'll have the right to do so um, one day. You'll see. There'll be something great that will happen there. I did play an elf there once. That was a great thing. I played an elf during a Christmas time. We did a little Christmas pageant thing. Well, it wasn't really a pageant. It was like... We all dressed up like Christmas characters and walked around the Modern Art Museum talking with the audience, whatever that's called. Well, talking with people that were walking around this environmental theater, I don't know what you would call it. But it, I was an elf working for Santa. It was about the time Elf came out, so it was very easy to riff off um, Will Ferrell's performances. Something really popular that went on all over the place. People were playing elves a lot during the day when Will Ferrell was playing an elf. About the same time that that went on. So that's what it's saying, and that's not correct. Switching over. I'm switching over to, to Waze. I'm gonna have to call on this one. It's not making much sense on the um, app on both uh, Google and on Waze. It's saying it's right there on the corner. We found that the numbers were incorrect. Six was supposed to be a five. Makes a big difference. There they are. I've delivered here before. A few times, if you've seen them. The favor vlogs. Delivery is 601, 14 minutes, 5.5 miles.